Okay, um, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for x given two parallel lines, which are represented here, and a transversal. So a couple things we need to know. When we have parallel lines and a transversal, a lot of things happen, right? Uh, we can use alternate interior angles, corresponding angles, um, alternate exterior angles. If you don't know any of these, please make sure you either look up a video of mine or search them because you really need to make sure you know those. Um, here I have two intersecting lines. And whenever I have two intersecting lines, I have uh, some angles we can use. One thing is any, straight, any two angles that make up a straight line we know equal 180 degrees. However, these two angles are directly across from each other from their inter at an intersection. Therefore, we call them inter or, sorry, vertical angles. Therefore, we know that vertical angles are equal in measure to each other. So what I can do is I can set up an equation to solve for these two. So I can say 4x is equal to uh, 4x is equal to 8x minus 12. Now what I can do is I can solve for x. Then I divide by negative 4, and I get x equals a positive 3. All right. So now, how is that going to help me? Well, if you notice, in this problem, I have y and an x. So since I've now solved for x, I can figure out what is the value of this angle right here. So I do 8 times 3 minus 12. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus 12 equals 12. So therefore, if I can kind of say now this equals 12, I look at these two angles and I say, how are they equal to each other? Well, or how, I'm sorry, now are they equal to each other? But how do they relate to each other? And, well, they don't directly relate to each other. Um, but what we could say is, I know that these two angles relate to each other as they're what we call corresponding angles. So you could also say that this angle is now equal to 12. Um, and since this is equal to 12 and that one's equal to 12, I have these two angles which are on a straight line which we call a straight angle. So whenever two angles make up a straight line or a straight angle, we know those two measures add up to give us 180 degrees. So I, now I can write 6y plus 10 plus 12 equals 180 degrees. Then I'll combine, so I get 6y equals 22 equals 180, Jeez. Right? Subtract 22. 6y is going to equal 158. And then what I'll do is um, I will subtract uh, 6, or sorry, divide by 6. And let's see. 6 is going to, I'm not giving 20. Hmm, let me double check here. 4x is equal to 8x minus 12. So we're trying to make negative 4x equals 12. Positive 3. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus 12 is positive 12. That's 12 degrees. 22. Subtract 22. 6y. Yep. Okay. Um, I guess we'll have a decimal. So therefore, I um, so let's see. Six goes into one fifty-eight. Six goes into fifteen two times. Two times six is uh, twelve. Bring down a three. Bring down eight. Six goes into thirty-eight six times. Six times six is thirty-six. Drop down the two. So therefore, y equals twenty-six point two. And it is going to keep on going on and on, but I'll end it right there. So that's how you solve the rest of that question.